<laughs> I think that's all. We, that's all. I don't think we know. I don't think we have time to get into it because oh, my thing. Shucks. Well, my right. thing is how long is your thing? All right. All right I. I, I know it's going to take long. It's going to be a long episode if we do it, which I, I, I do want to do it because the thing is, it does feed in to this conversation. Oh, man, uh, well, how can you pass it up? Yeah. So Texas has a feral hog problem. Have you heard about that? Oh, my God. Wait. Well, I think we might yes. have talked a little no, bit about it. There was something. There, has it been on the news recently? I don't know. Um, if it's been on the news recently. I don't know if it was Texas. God, there's a lot of there's, it, it's spreading. Because of Texas. Was this on any other pro- any programs? Was this on like a late night or a John Oliver or something? I saw something on hogs taking over like recently. I don't mm. know where I saw it. I don't know where it was. I, didn't, I haven't seen it in Oliver, but this this story is from 20. It is from April 7th of 2022. And getting it. into it. Uh, this the, the, the title of the story is in the Texas Standard. Which actually is a pretty cool order. I, oh, you know I what? Like I think it might have been Stanley Tucci. Oh, he t- he talked about this. Okay. Um, did you watch a CNN show? I did watch a CNN show, but I, I don't remember that. There may they may have been hunting. This was hogs. in Italy. Yeah, yeah, they may have been hunting hogs in one of the previous episodes. Okay, and um and they went on to explain how there's been a population explosion and that okay. they are, are yeah. All right, well, well look, yeah, look, you're gonna have words. You're gonna have words because this is a really interesting article. So Texas has a feral hog problem, and. The reason I actually looked up Texas feral hogs is because my YouTube got a little hijacked because I clicked on one video of a guy trapping hogs. And that led me to another video of people just indiscriminately murdering hogs at night, which led me to another video of people renting helicopters to shoot hogs from the air in texas and so i was like oh wow but all those videos it was like a vice report from like 2017 so i was like well what happened <laughs> like what happened to the feral hog problem since all that stuff started up and that's what led me to this article texas has a feral hog problem hunting them makes it worse it's <laughs> it's not hard as i go to the article it's not hard to hunt feral hogs in texas that's partly because there are so many of them here, the most of any state experts think, and partly because it's state policy to make hog hunting as easily as possible. Throughout this article, I think I need to work on how I say hog. I want a better accent for hog, and I think I'm saying it too much like a northerner, and I think this is a great opportunity (laughs) to say it like someone who's a little bit more native son to an area that has a lot of hogs. So I'm going to try to work on it. So I'm going to get there. Feral hogs are among the most destructive invasive species in the United States. Every year, they cause over $1 billion in damage nationwide to crops and property. So landowners and government agencies like the U.S. Department of Agriculture are invested in decreasing their population. Texas is a hog hunting paradise. Before 2019, Hunters were required to have a license to hunt them, but the legislature got rid of that requirement. Now only a hunter's education course is required. I don't know how long a hunter's education course is. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you probably go up, buy a rifle. Wait, that gives you some safety questions. And then I think that's a hunter's education. Different. I I do not know anything about hunting. There is there are different requirements per the animal that you want to hunt. I thought that maybe there were yes, classes of animals like that. elephant versus no, permits, just like versus bear. Kind of but like, yeah. I think there are so, permits, but it's not just paying money and filling it out. Like you need, like you need to qualify in some way for different animals. I thought I, I, you want to go out and shoot a bird. Or you want to shoot a hog. That's like two different things. I think it's an application because there are permits to, I think there's even per land use permits as well, depending on where you're hunting as well. Don't quote me on that. Not an avid hunter, but I do believe because like, I mean, I, I, have you ever gone fishing? Because, you know, mm-hmm. a license for fishing is similar. There's there's different licenses for fishing and then there's different uh, licenses, I think, for the areas in which you want to fish can also have uh, a different thing that you might need to acquire. Usually yeah, freshwater, able, I think. Well, yeah, but even when you go to the town, you might have to like stop by uh like an official like agency hut or something like that, uh, which is usually adjacent either to a campground, I, I, as if memory can serve something like that, 
in order to pick up like your license for that area, something like that. Anyway, they're usually cheap, and I think that these are cheap too. So we're talking about are these they- licenses, but they're relatively cheap licenses to get. It's just about funding. So then they just waived that because that was too much of a barrier. That's exactly right. They so that anyone it. could just like go yeah. out and do yeah. it and not be bothered with filling out an application. That, that's correct. You don't need any kind Did of. Did that thing. help? Did was there an increase in hog? Deaths oh, oh yeah oh yeah from that waving definitely definitely there was did you hear i don't need deaths. to fill out this piece of paper let's go out i well that i think that's holding me up the whole time i think that's part of the helicopter too, hog hunting i was too lazy to fill out that paper but now that i can let's go take a four-hour drive and slaughter some hogs you don't you fly a four-hour flight and, because and, that's and kill not, some hogs from the air that's not too difficult to do it was the piece of paper that was holding you back that's, that's correct interesting psychology. In, in fact, everyone listening to this right now i i at the risk of your YouTube algorithm, and 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 this will this will ruin it. Believe me, it will. You every other video will be hog hunting and hog trapping. So don't. I mean, you can do this at your at your at your own peril. But it is well worth it to watch a video of two people with assault rifles mowing down hogs from the air. Two tourists. They're not usually they're not even Texans. They're usually just Americans from 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 all parts or or from the world. That are, are given class rifles. hog hunting and and yeah and you, and you get to and you get to shoot them from a mini helicopter and and animal rights aside, I mean objectively, kind of funny, kind of fun. I mean, kind of wild. But when are they going to start putting guns on drones and you just remote remote shoot from the convenience of your own home? All right. I didn't say this is the and most you, efficient way. And then you get way, the meat shipped to you. By the way, this isn't the most efficient way to hunt. This I, this is the most exhilarating way. To, to hunt eventually i mean yeah helicopter rides sound cool i've never been in one but it sounds fun and now you get to shoot things from it maybe you get to shoot from a glider maybe you get to launch off and and, and have a little mounted glider or maybe a the, hot air balloon a hot maybe air balloon the air force will get in on this and they'll let you for x number maybe like a hundred thousand dollars get into a fighter jet as you uh as you like as you like carpet bomb I like I like the maybe uh, the World War One era planes with the propellers and you can just drop bombs. You just kind oh. of like it's all open air and you just kind of dropping bombs out. Why are we doing it. this podcast? These are great business opportunities. I'm sure we could get the rights to do them in Texas. I'm sure we could rent World War One airplanes, get those little tiny bombs and let people drop them on hogs. I, I'm I, sure we can get the feet waved. 